Howdy folks, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. It's a nice, beautiful, clear night as day two of spring comes to an end. So I spent the entire day gathering resources. I uh, got a whole bunch of berries, got the compost bin filled up and built another compost bin. Got it a uh, little bit, a little bit going on there. Get the rest of these unripe berries. We're getting it, uh, it's a little over half full now. Cool, we got some fireflies out. I don't know how well this is going to show up on YouTube. I know it doesn't like dark stuff. Uh, but this is absolutely beautiful. Nice clear night. The uh, moon's starting to peek up. Fireflies buzzing around. <laughs> it's it's just gorgeous. But I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night. And then the plan is to do some building. We're uh, trying to get prepped for uh, having a villager. So let's go to sleep next day. Yeah, a little foggy in the day, per usual. My hammer out here. So I've got a kitchen and I've got a, I think it's called a simple house and a, an herbalist hut placed down. So I think we're going to work on the house. So this is a simple house. The first one I built was a small simple house. So what I wanted to do with this one is make it like as good as I can with uh, what I have. So like a plank roof, if we can do that stone walls, that kind of thing. So let me go grab a bunch of stone and we'll get started. Grab, let's say like 40 stone. And I don't know how many logs carry with still be able to move. Yeah, we could still, we could kind of move. Do the old sachet sideways trick. <laughs> sachet up here. All right, let's get some stones put in. So it takes 12 for the foundation. And we'll see how this works with making it a, a better house. There we go. Okay, so framing, we don't have any options. That always takes logs. I'm not sure how many it took. It took 10, so we're going to have a couple left over. Okay, now we should have an option for changing walls. If I hit E for edit. See, this is... Yeah, that has a window, so... Walls with windows, and then we have stone. We go just plain wood. I think we'll do stone and a plank roof if we can pull that off. So change that to stone. So if I have enough stone, oh, that's going to look nice. Right, edit. So we have wall with doors and then stone wall with door. Got uh, walls, stone wall. I think I'll just leave the windows how they're laid out. Walls, stone walls. Stone wall. Have a wall with a window. Regular wall. Wall with a wall with a window. And two more regular walls. So I like this system, it's pretty cool. Alright, and then we got these upper parts here. That's a stone. And change that to stone. And then the roof. We have a thatch roof. Um, I think we got planks. Ooh, I could do wooden tile. And take a lot of planks. Um, so that's, does it say the walls here? Yeah, so stone is the highest. All right, let's, let's, let's go for the highest. Wooden tile roof. I don't know if we're going to have enough resources to pull this off. Might have to go chop some more trees. 
This is going to take a lot of stuff. All right, there we go. So I have a bunch of stone. Let's go ahead and put all the stone we got in here. I need some more logs. I did gather up a bunch of stone as well, so we have quite a bit. Wonder if I have a spare hammer. I have to make another hammer. So the days fly by. I kind of wish I had more time. But, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get another 20 stone. Eight logs. I'm not overloaded. I think this is going to look really nice. There we go. Beautiful. Takes about eight stone, it looks like. Yeah, eight stone, one log for the... That's kind of cool. So it actually adjusts it because it needs more logs for the window. Less stone. It's pretty cool. And we're out of materials again. Let's go grab the same. We got a lot more pounding to do here. I saw there was a building for like for builders, so I think eventually you can have your people build these for you. Just starting to get over. I think we'll try to get a, an extractor so they can be gathering up logs and stones and stuff for us. That does take a lot of time. I literally spent all of the second day of spring gathering up stuff. Time flies. Looking good. We're going to have to make a bunch of planks over there at the uh, carpenter station. Woodworker's hut. I forget what it's called. Okay. Main wall is complete. So I'm going to need four more stone. And four more stone. So eight stone. And then do these take... These do take a log. The rest is planks. Uh-oh. Wooden hammer is Dunsey. All right. I don't remember if I have another wooden hammer. I do not. Is it eight more stone? I've already forgotten. <laughs> uh, handcrafting. I need uh, 10 sticks for the hammer. There we go, hand crafting, hammer. And we're back in business. Already lost count of what I was trying to do though. But if you've been around the channel more than five minutes, you know, I'm pretty much the absent-minded professor. There we go. All right. And what we need for this? We need 12 planks per section. Holy cow. We need 72 planks. Yep, we're going to need 72 planks. Okay. Uh, I have three logs. Let's go see how many planks we get per log. A log. Oh, uh, we're going to need 36 logs. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to have to chop some more trees. Might have to edit some of this episode out. All right, that got us half of a roof panel, I think. Yep. All right, well, let's go grab the rest of our logs. See how many of these we can get made. Bean logs. We're gonna need uh, we're gonna need lots more planks. Craft all. I'm glad I did the uh, multi crafting or whatever it's called. Saves me a lot of editing time. Not the most realistic, but it is. Let's get one of these done and see how it looks. Oh, that's going to look nice. I like it. I did burn through my bronze axe, so we've been using the iron axe. Got almost enough. We're going to need 38 more blanks. Right, so we're going to need 19 logs. That's basically like seven trees. Now, I've been cutting just the spruce trees because I like having all the deciduous around. But uh, from what I understand, they give fewer logs. Which doesn't make any sense. But let me try. I think somebody said that in the comment. Yeah, I'm going to cut down this maple tree. I think they said... Maple gave more logs, which would be kind of strange. Oh yeah, it gives four instead of three. I guess because even the little bitty stuff counts as a log. Uh, I was looking at the ground. What happened? More skills? Nice. Extraction. Uh, treasure hunter. Yes. Slower durability loss of axes. Thank you very much. And we got uh, oh, we got some farmer stuff. I'll look at that later. We're we're on a bit of a time crunch here. Ooh, stone. So yeah, I've been cutting down the spruce trees just because I like the having the deciduous trees around the village area. But I do realize the uh, the other trees do give more. Thanks for the all the comments. letting me know stuff. Stone. I always use more stone. Uh, how many logs do I have? Uh, ten. All right. Three more trees. And then we'll still be out of logs, but at least I'll have the house done. And I, n I didn't go back and look. I don't remember who I was flirting with. Somebody I had like 15 or 20% affection on. Oh, I cut down a maple tree thinking it was spruce. <laughs> oh well. Extra log. Then to spam the, the E key. Oh, one more log. We're getting kind of heavy. So that's okay. We got enough logs now. Just making sure. And we're going to go for all the planks. Wait, what? I have 20 logs. That should give me two planks. Oh, it's showing the number of logs, I guess. Let's find out. If we get 40 planks, then we're good. 
No, it's saying 0 of 20 for planks. Wait a second. Oh, no, it gives me 40. Okay, so it says planks, but it's actually talking about the inputs, the logs. All right. Got it. Look at that roof. Isn't that beautiful? Looks way better than the waddle walls and the straw. <laughs> and I think the installation and stuff matters for the NPCs. It doesn't really matter for my house as far as I know. I guess once I had a have a wife in the house, we'll have to make it good or she'll be unhappy. As far as just a player house, I don't think it matters for the insulation. Oh, we got an inside stuff too. Three logs. We just need three logs. What do we get out of a birch tree? Let's cut this one down. Ooh, right on the house. Oops. Did that actually damage houses? Oh, we just get two logs from a birch tree. Okay. Fair enough. This big ol' that's a maple, isn't it? Big old maple tree. Spruce. We gotta wait a while, but I think these trees will grow back. Getting kind of low on uh, water and whatnot. There we go. Simple house complete. Uh, so it has this. Oh, it has an extra bed. I don't know if that matters for like the NPCs. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Have a resident in your settlement. All right. So we have a house for them now. Now we just have to find somebody to come live in there. And I'm not 100% sure. Like, this is the woodshed. Will they gather, like, stones and stuff? I don't know how this works. Um, I did make a stone axe, and a couple stone axes, and a stone pickaxe to throw in there. Uh, we'll just have to see how that works once we get some residents in here. I want to find somebody that's good at extraction. And... Production. I don't know what the symbol for that is. Be production. Stone sickle. Sounds like it might be. Where was the... Fence. It's surely in here somewhere. Stick fence, I think is what I was looking for. Or is it the low waddle fence? I'm not sure. Well, this is the high version of that. And uh, we leveled up in farming, so... Additional crops? I mean, that sounds good. Whistling summons your mount. We're not really at the mount point yet. Uh, lower durability loss? Sure. Sounds like a point. And uh, yeah, I know all these stumps will give us logs. I think I've covered that in previous videos. So I still see comments 
saying, hey, you can dig up the stumps. Uh, I've done that to a few, but most of these I want to have them grow back. A lot of mushrooms. These have been chucking in the uh, compost bin. I need to get some other foods unlocked. There is so much to do in this game. Ooh, more mushrooms. These are good eating in real life. Gotta make sure you get the right kind. There are some poisonous mushrooms here in Missouri that look like the morel. Uh, my mom has been picking them my entire life, so I usually just have them when, when she's found some. I haven't actually gone and got them myself. All right, we are stinky, we're hungry, we're thirsty. Let's get, I was going to put that back in there. Let's go ahead and grab that mushroom. It's going bad. We'll grab the, let's go throw those in the compost bin. Those in there and those in there. Getting towards full. Not quite there yet. Need some more unripe berries. They really fill it up nice. Go ahead and get clean. And I'm going to have to go hunting eventually because I think we're getting a little low on meat. I'm sure the soups and stuff are better, like, filling for you. So, like I said, I do need to get some of that other stuff unlocked. Like, four of those. Yeah, we're down to, like, seven meat. Glory food. So, I need to get that unlocked. I need to get the kitchen built because I know we can do some stuff there, but the kitchen hasn't as an oven as well. So before we call it quits, uh, let's go look at technology. Uh, is that under production? Yeah, kitchen maybe. I don't know which of these we're gonna need for some of the recipes. Uh, so we got porridge, gruel, stew. I know we're gonna have some vegetables eventually. So let's buy that one. Uh, porridge is oat grain, rye grain. You're going to have some cabbage. Beetroot. Uh, mushroom soup is probably worth having. Eggs. I haven't seen eggs yet, but I guess once we build the chicken coop might have that if I go to my inventory I've still got 500 bucks we got we got plenty of cash we're good so let's just do some miscellaneous things here to close out this video we got a little bit of time left in the day so I want to get that uh, compost bin all filled up I'll probably get rid of this I was just had a little area there for berry bushes uh, do didn't look to see. Can we put all those in there? Can still not quite full. Need some more berries. Some more stone. We're gonna we need more stone and and logs as well. So. go gather up a few things and uh, we'll run off in this direction here to the east is there another berry patch over here I know I found one I think it was that one I've already picked this one pretty sure oh no I haven't picked this one yet okay. there's these little patches all around must have been a different one over here I know I picked one to the east yeah just uh, hold down E and go to town This should get us the other compost bin filled up. Grab some sticks and stuff there too. It'll just gather whatever you're pointing at. Sticks and stones.
Berries seem good for this because you can get so many in a, in a short time. They seem really good for the compost bin. So. There might be something better, you guys can let me know. Butterfly, look at that. Okay, that's surely enough. That's like 188 berries. Of course, we still have the story there. We need to go talk to Nadar. There's just a lot to do. A lot going on. Unripe berry. So we need uh, 7.1 kilograms. 7.1. There we go. Now we're full. So that should be 50... Or yeah, it holds maybe maybe a hundred fertilizer or so. Once we get the rod out of that, I think that will do nicely. Now, what's an unripe berry? Twenty percent poisoning. Dang! <laughs> it is not messing around. I would do another one, but I'm out of logs. It takes four logs to build one of those. Uh, but I'll stick that in... I can stick it in the food place, I guess. So it's not taking up my inventory room. But we're going to need some food. I need the miscellaneous mushrooms. Uh, we've got... Carrots and stuff growing. They haven't popped up yet. I assume they'll take two seasons to go. I don't know. This may be ready in the summer. I'm not sure. This little wheat patch. But yeah, man. Time is coming to a close again. I need to go chop a bunch of wood. And we got the... I was putting the kitchen right here. You can go ahead and get the foundation in for that. I think the only benefit this gives us over the house is the oven. Need more logs. So I'm going to work on that, and then I've got the uh, herbalist out over here. Which I think lets us make some uh, potions and whatnot. So we'll be working on that as well. And day three of spring is just about done. The work never ends. But it's fun as well. I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, it's not doing super great on the channel, but that's okay. I'm having fun. Getting a couple hundred views per episode, so. Some people are are digging it. I appreciate the comments. So we'll we'll keep going. Because I'm having a ton of fun. The only problem with this game is there is so much to do. It's hard to break it up. <laughs> it's hard to break it up into episodes. There's just, like you can see here, it just keeps going and going. There's always something to do. But I've been trying to do like kind of a day per episode. It doesn't always work out. As it gets more uh, established, we might do multiple days per episode. We'll see how it goes. Because you can actually like grow old and die and, you know, then play as your kid, I think, is how that works. That's the whole dynasty part of it. I think we'll have fields go that way and we're just going to kind of have most of the buildings around this part. This is our starter village. I guess you could do multiple villages maybe. Anywho, let's get uh, this done. How are we doing on time? We're about a half hour. We're not doing too bad. I don't know that these need anything special. As far as insulation, so we'll just build it. Like it doesn't even have the edit option, so there you go. See if we can get this done before my hammer runs out. Uh, I do have some straw, so we can grab that. We're gonna be short on logs. I 
not sure. Not the daylight here. Uh, where's my spruce trees? Run down to spruce trees. Now well, let's let's do some stumps. These are tricky. You got to be like standing right on top of it. Let's clear out a few of these. Okay, good. That's just one section per side. Alright, so we need 16 straw. Five more logs for that. Let's see if we can get the herbalist hut done tonight, though. 16 straw. Run! Kitchen's not priority at all. I was curious what, the, oh wait, shoot, need a uh, few more logs, forgot about these little parts up there, oh no, and I need a hammer now, <laughs> alright, we're digging up stumps, time's a wasting, we'll clear off some stuff here behind the herbalist hut. Doesn't want to find that, so we'll put it back on four. Need to figure out a better hammer. I don't know if we can make a. Didn't see a stone hammer. Maybe there's a, an iron hammer, a bronze hammer. Seem to burn through these pretty quick. Plenty of sticks. Hey, Herbalist Hut complete. All right, what you got for us? We have a Herbalist table. So we have healing potions. Oh, poison ammo. Nice. Okay, so we have to unlock that. And then that takes vials and a bucket of water and stuff. That's cool. Instant healing. We got cures for poisons and stuff, it looks like. Uh, enhancement. Okay, so we can buy all these and then we can make stuff. Poison stone arrow. Need a poison. Other potions? Poison. Deadly nightshade. Okay. Henbane. I've got some henbane. Alright, we'll keep our eye out for that kind of stuff. That's kind of cool. Have to gather that up as we go, but uh, yeah, there's spring. Spring is done. Uh, I know we only did two videos in spring, but like I said, the yesterday I just spent the entire day gathering resources, and uh, we just blew through all those logs, and uh, still have some stone left, I think. Yeah, we still got seventy stone. We got a bunch of sticks, but uh, yeah, we're out of logs. I need to go chop those. I think I'll make one more hammer. Seem to be blowing through those pretty quick. But uh, here we are, nighttime again, right where we uh, started. Still a nice, clear night. Thanks, as always, for watching, folks. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next adventure.